Hey everyone, how is it going? Good to see you again. Today's video is going to be a bit of a personal one, a bit of a chilled one. Hopefully only 10 minutes long, just giving a bit of a season update of my first week in season 2. Okay, just so you know, I've also created a community discord now. Hopefully building some sort of like relationship with you all, um, chatting to you all, helping you give guides, and also it's for you guys to share information with each other. So if you want a certain commander guide or feedback on a certain build, drop it in Discord. There's, plenty, there's going to be people in there to be able to help you and um, sort of give you feedback. Uh, but that's brand new, so it's going to be quiet for a bit, but uh, we'll build that up over time. So yep, in the links and comments uh, section in the description, um, they're all going to be there. So you'll be able to join that. <coughs> So welcome to anyone who is coming in. Apart from that, let's go on to the video. And season two is hype. If you've not gone to season two yet, it is mental. Okay? It's not like season one. Completely different strategy. Completely different game plan. Just completely different. Um, it is it is crazy good. Um, straight away, getting into the server. Coming in and seeing how many people are there. All fighting for tiles. I was there straight away when it launched, pretty much like for five minutes, and it was great, great fun. Loved every bit of it. Um, so if you haven't got there into season two yet, get ready to be hyped. Get ready for no sleep for the first day, and uh, get ready to smash the game and get uh, get in front, get in front. Uh, so yeah, that's like, really, really exciting. Uh, for season two, I have picked Gondor. I was uh, Linden in season one. I've got picked Gondor this time. Reason for it. I want to know how to beat cavalry. That's literally it. The other reason I want to beat Condor is I need to learn how to beat cavalry. To do that, if I play them, I'll have lots of fights of how to beat them. Uh, when I lose, to understand what did they do, what build they running, what units they using, and therefore why they beaten my build um, of cavalry units. I fell, fell into a, quite a few fights last season where I got absolutely obliterated 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 and it was just bad and i can't see a way round of beating cav commanders and cav units right now so it's going to be interesting to see that and that's one of the sort of main things i want to see this season which is why i've picked gondor uh, so that's great let's have a look at what's currently happening strength wise in this uh, season then we have i'd say rohan showing their strength at top very closely followed by dwarves. They're probably equal in power. Uh, Rohan have definitely made themselves more at the front of the pile, though. Definitely grabbing the most attention. I don't know if that's because they're probably picking fights more. Dwarves have been very quiet. I've really not heard, felt like I've heard anything from them. Uh, they're just trying to build up their power and get a, get a high level before they cause any trouble, I think. We then have uh, Mordor who are also uh, four to be reckoned with. They've um, had a fight with Ro uh, Ruin um, almost immediately over here. This crossing was at, f they were fighting for this crossing for several days. It looks like now Rowan's pushed them back. Uh, Ro Ruin has pushed them back. That's because though, Rohan now have started a fight with Mordor. But we'll get on to sort of politics in a second. Uh, let's focus on strength a second. Um, so yeah, so Rohan sort of and Dwarves at the top of that chain, Mordor close behind, and then Gondor, who I am, we're a full faction, but we aren't in one solid fellowship, okay? You'll find that we're actually, and that's just changed, it? Dwarves have just gone in front there, uh, we'll actually find that we are sort of like just hitting behind, so you'll see that we've got three another faction fellowship another fellowship another fellowship another fellowship we've got a lot of fellowships um i think we could come through storming through towards the uh, towards sort of mid game uh, dwarves you can see here as well i've got some extra ones down here and rowan as well but uh, yeah so it'll be interesting to see sort of coming to mid game we're only one we can remember so it'll be interesting to see how we uh, how we come through and how gondor approach that because our power definitely is down compared to rowan right now but uh yeah so that's the sort of let's have a look on fights then so right now we are allies with everyone i don't believe we're at war with anybody i am not in the council by the way so i do not decide what we do on uh, on gondor how it's decided what we do is a team of 33 people there's 33 people 
that decide or sit on the council for Gondor decide what they want to do. So I'm personally not a fan of that. I'm going to be interested. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Having so many people trying to make decisions rather than just maybe five or six. Uh, but I'm not on that council. I do keep trying to sort of talk to people, have an input into it. Uh, but I purposely didn't try and put myself on that council because I want to create YouTube videos. Last thing I want to do is start telling people plans and stuff and actually to be real. Now, everything I mention on here about plans is just me, okay? It's just me and they mean nothing whatsoever. So when I share ideas of what I think we should do, it's not relating, <coughs> it's not telling, it's not correct. It's not as if it's just what we're going to do, it's what I'm saying I think I would do if I was leading the faction. So, fights then. Mordor versus Rohan right now is probably the biggest thing that's kicked off. Mordor has shown their strength. They've been doing really, really well. This this whole this whole area was keeps, though. This whole, the whole area was fought. And Rowan seems to have just marched in. Literally just marched in and it looks like annihilated them. So I'm going to be really interested in, to see the output of this. They want new lands to get um, to get power. They're running out of uh, lands to get tiles and stuff. And that's the same as us. So we're the same where we're running out of tiles. So this is going to be really interesting. The Rowan versus Mordor fight. See how this plays out over a 24 hour period. Obviously if Rowan are active during the night. Then Mordor will log in and just push them back. So that's going to be really interesting. The other biggest one. Uh, like I said everyone else are pretty much our friends. No one else is at fight anywhere. The biggest thing to mention <clears throat> that's exciting for me is Rohan on our door. On day one, I think it was, or day two, they pretty much said, hey, can we have Oathbreakers? I was like, no. Like, what the hell are they doing? What are they doing? They're literally ready to march through and pretty much destroy us, to be honest. So, how this plays out, I do not know. What I've said to our leaders, uh, or to sort of my fellowship leader, my feedback would be, whilst Mordor, like Rowan are fighting Mordor, we need to full force. We need to put full force into pushing them back, is my view. And then getting Mordor to also push hard towards them, to do both. That's what I would say we do. Um, but... Will that work? I'm not sure. Will even Rowan win? Do we want to see how that plays out more? Don't know. But it's just a matter of time before one of us decides to push. Okay? And if it's on their choice, if they decide to do it, they will win. Okay? They will win, I'm pretty sure. And we probably won't get them out of our lands ever again. They also then get access to Oathbreakers. That they'll then push into Mordor, and Mordor then will hate it even more that we've given the rope breaker. So it's it's a bit of a mental sort of scenario there. I do expect a big fight. I will try and get recordings of that fight if I am on when it happens. Um, but I can't promise anything. I'll probably in the next update in a few days or a week from now. It'll be really interesting to see what actually happens from that. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the biggest biggest. Uh, biggest thing right now is uh, Mordor versus Rohan and um, Rohan sitting on our door doorstep and was just sitting there waiting waiting to be battered is what it feels like that's honestly what it feels like um, Oathbreakers I've, um, if you've got any uh, ideas of how to use Oathbreakers how to capture them easily and stuff please do leave it in the comment section I'm interested I want to know uh, what people what advice people have with Oathbreakers I've not used them last season um, I was Haldir last season as my main commander. Haldir doesn't have any problem with both breakers. Goes straight through them. Um, avoid like avoidance, anti-avoidance. So I'm interested to know how to take oath breakers because I'm not using Haldir this season. Um, so yeah, please do leave that in the comment section below. Um, if you do enjoy these season updates as well, hit that like button. It lets me know that you want to see these. Comment, subscribe. It does let me. I'll look at the stats and see what you want to see. If these season updates is what you want, then let me know and uh, I shall keep making them happen. What are my main commanders then? I have gone with a good old Gandalf. Where am I? I'm at level 40 on day, this is day 8 technically, start of day 8. So level 40 commander in the first week and a 35 from Legolas. Legolas, by the, what I've done here by the way, I made a mistake with Gandalf, sorry. <clears throat> 
Gandalf, I slept on for 24 hours. He should be sitting at more like 41 or 42 with myself right now. But I slept on him for the first 24 hours. So, a bit of a shame there. A bit of a letdown that I did that. Not quite sure what was going through my head. Think endgame PvP is definitely what you should be doing. And therefore, I went Legolas. I also want to do a video on Legolas. Show you how kick ass he is. He's a great, great commander. He's hit a, at level 32. He hit 170k. 170k commander damage in one fight. He's insane. He's insane, honestly. Really, really great commander. Uh, so I'll be doing a video on him in a few weeks' time of what I really, really think about him and how to build him, etc. Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting one as well. But yeah, level 40, level 35. I'm taking 200 tiles easily now. Uh, quite comfortably, we're smashing 200 tiles. That's my Legolas reinforced. So I'm going to go and um, fight some more. Tiles in a second. Do some reinforcements there. Gandalf must have missed that. So yeah, just taking 200 tiles right now to get our uh, fellowship buffs up. Moment. Uh, other thing I've learned as well in Season 2 is Tier 2 units are really good. Um, I'm actually quite happy with them. Um, so that's been really, really a good learning for next season is I need to be focusing army, 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 army. Um, I need to be getting army as much as possible. I did sleep on the tier two army units. I could have been taking t uh, 200 tiles a little bit earlier. Could have had a 24 hour period where I just mock battle and then go into tier, th try and go to tier threes after. I made a mistake. That's why I'm down on personal production. I did make a mistake not um, putting enough army in. And the other thing is I did do a fight that lost all of my units when I was, uh, when I was away from the phone. Um, it was stupid, it was ridiculous, but that's life of having a baby, I guess. Um, it's that you can't be on it all the time. So yeah, I think that's uh, the biggest thing. The only last thing I want to mention, and I'll go down here, just throw one of these ones. Grimmy is a piece of crap. Um, I can, I, can I find a fight where we fought against him? Uh, because Grimmer is horrendous. This guy, Grimmer is absolutely disgusting. I hate him. He's giving me, he does so much damage from, I guess, the madness. Madness, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to counter it, apart from sending Legolas in and just smashing people's faces in. That's the only counter I've got right now is Legolas smashing people's faces in. So let me know what you have advice wise for madness. Uh, apart from that, that is everything. And I shall, uh, if you like the comment, if you like the content, then do hit like, subscribe, um, and I shall check you uh, check next time. Check in next time and give you an update of where we are season two, and see where Rowan is in destroying us. Is what my feeling is going to be. Um, I feel like the council aren't going to do a good enough job, but we shall see. We shall see. So catch you later. Thanks very much.